this is geometric progression so the first question is the second term and fourth term of a geometric series is 7.2 and 5.832 so the first thing that we need to know is the formula for nth term of a geometric progression so geometric progression you know this is the first term second term third term and everything is in increasing when we multiply it with some common number that's how it is going on that's a geometric progression and that thing is called the common ratio which can be found by dividing the next term with the previous term and the first term is called a and the nth term at a particular position is given by a r to the power n minus 1 that means u2 would be a r power 1 decrease so a r u3 would be a r squared n minus 1 u4 would be a r cubed u5 would be a r to the power 4 and so on this is how it goes so the nth term so the second term is 7.2 so the first question is u2 equals to 7.2 so u2 is a r to the power n minus 1 meaning a r equals to 7.2 so this is equation 1 and the next information given is the fourth term is 5.832 so u4 equals to 5.832 so we can also write this as u4 is a r cubed equals to 5.832 so this is equation 2 now what we need to do is we want to find the common ratio so we have to solve the simultaneous equation now this is a simultaneous equation which is uh, which should be solved by cancelling so what we can do is by calculating a from here so we can write so a equals to 7.2 by a uh, 7.2 by r and from the second one a equals to 5.832 by r cubed r cubed hence we can write 7.2 by r since a equals to a 5.832 by r cubed and if you do cross multiply it would be r cubed by r equals to 5.832 by 7.2 so we are doing division so let's carry on the division uh, r squared by r r cubed by r is r squared the power will subtract and by dividing this let me bring out my calculator so it's going to be 5.832 divided by 7.2 so that would be equals to 0.81 so 0.81 therefore r equals to remember the plus minus square root you have to give plus minus square root of 0.81 it would be plus minus of 0.9 so square root of 0.81 equals to 0.9 so answer the question was was it find the values of find the common ratio now it's given here that the common ratio is positive this information is important otherwise we would have two values so the answer would be r equals to 0.9 next question is find the first term so b is find the first term just put it here so we know one of the equation is a equals to 7.2 by r so let's put it there a equals to 7.2 divided by r is 0.9 equals to so we have 7.2 divided by 0.9 9 and that's equals to 8 so answer 
a equals to 8 so the final question there are two more the sum of the first 50 terms giving your answer to three decimal places sum of the first 50 terms now there are two formula for sum of first n terms one formula is r is greater than 1 called the divergent and the other form is formula is r is less than 1 called the convergent our value of r is 0 0.9 that means less than 1 so it has to be the convergent formula and this is the formula sum of n terms is a multiplied 1 minus since r is less than 1 r to the power n divided by 1 minus r so this is the formula if it's convergent and convergent condition is r has to be between minus 1 and 1 that's the condition for convergent our value of r is less than 1 so it falls under convergent so using that formula we have to find some of the first 50 terms so C S 50 would be A into A is 8 1 minus R is 0 0.9 to the power 50 divided by 1 minus R which is 0 0.9 so let's do this calculation now if you do this this calculation first uh, 1 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1 so 8 divided by 0 0.1 8 divided by 0.1 is 80 so this is 80 now this one 1 minus 0.9 to the power 50 let's calculate it like this let's find 0.9 to the power 50 so we got this so 1 minus that value is always a good idea to start from the innermost value so 1 minus this value is stored in the answer we get this answer multiplied by what's outside the bracket 80 that would be 79.58769 79.58769 is there anything else 97 so let me write 98 now they asked for the answer to I think three decimal places three decimal places so our answer should be 79.58 and this 7 becomes 8 so this should be the answer the final answer is question number D the difference between the sum to infinity and the sum of the first 50 terms okay first the formula if it is convergent we have a special formula called sum to infinity that means sum of all the terms this is the lazy 8 this is the infinity symbol so the formula is a by 1 minus r and remember this only happens if it is uh, convergent so the difference between sum to infinity and the sum of the 50 terms which we just found remember when they say difference it's always the positive difference difference always means positive difference so let me do it here so sum to infinity would be a by a is 8 1 minus r is 0 0.9 so that would be 0 0.1 8 divided by 0 0.1 is 80 which we calculated here and s50 is going to be 79.587698 remember <laughs> do not take the answer which is three decimal places take more accurate values because this is only for the answer but not for the calculation when you do the calculation do the more uh, accurate values this is very very important so therefore the difference sum to infinity because this is larger difference is always positive difference sum of 50 so let's calculate the difference so the difference is going to be 80 minus what's stored in the answer and that would be 0 0.412302 0 0.412302 0 0.412302 that should be the answer and how should we write the answer? So three decimal places so that would be 
0.412 so that's the GP sum so next comes sector this is a sector sum from C2 so first of all let me write down the formula here when we talk about sector we have two formula this is the radius R this is the radius R so the arc length is R theta where theta has to be in radian and the area of the sector is R square theta by 2 so these are the main two formula and the first question is find the length of the arc BD so let's do this so question number A is arc BD equals to the radius of this sector let me draw this sector this this is the arc of the sector and this is another radius of the sector so this is the sector we are talking about so the radius of this sector is r is 8 and the theta is 0 0.7 if you multiply it would be 5.6 and the answer last line always give the centimeter the unit otherwise you lose a mark because everything is in centimeter question number B you have to find the perimeter of the shaded region so this is the shaded region for the perimeter you need BD arc BD which is 5.6 you just found you need DC line DC which is 11 minus 8 the whole thing is 11 this is 8 so this would be 11 minus 8 so this would be 3 now in the length of this BC so for BC we are going to use using the cosine rule in triangle ABC so A B C so we're going to use the cosine rule so a little reminder about the cosine rule if you have a triangle cosine rule so if you have a triangle and if you know this angle theta and you know this side you know this side now you want to find this side for the cosine rule if you want to find one side you need the opposite angle to the side and two of the sides that makes that angle remember you need the two sides and the included angle by them only then you can find the opposite side so the formula is square of that side equal to square summation of the square of this side subtract double that side to a b into cos theta so this is the cosine rule so in our particular case what we have here our diagram is such that we have this 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 is 0.7 radian this is 8 centimeter this is 11 centimeter and this is what we're looking for and uh, this is b B C. So this is the diagram B C. This entire diagram. That's what we are trying to do here. So for doing the cosine rule, what we need is B C squared equals to this side squared plus this side squared. Remember, this is the side we are looking for. Opposite. This is this angle, and this and this. So this is going to be eight squared plus eleven squared minus two into eight into eleven into cos. 0.7 so let's calculate this let's calculate this so this is going to be 8 squared plus 11 squared minus 2 into 8 into 11 into cos now wait a minute this this is in radian but my calculator is in degree so I have to convert this I have to convert the mode into radian now it's in radian so cos 0.7 now it's all right so it's going to be let me write it down 50 point something so square root of that is going to be 7.098 right there for BC equals to 
seven point zero nine eight four three five four three five so this is BC now let's write down the perimeter so perimeter addition of all the side that's the perimeter so whenever we have that so we have to add this side this side and this side these three sides so the arc this side arc BD so the arc BD is 5.6 so perimeter equals to 5.6 plus this length DC is 3 3 plus this length BC is going to be 7.098435 so let's calculate the perimeter to three significant figure this is important so we can write the answer up to three significant figure so 5.6 plus 3 plus 7.098435 and we get 15.69 something the answer should be 15.7 15.7 centimeter the unit is very very important the last one is the area of the shaded region so we need to find the area of that region the same shaded region so that means the bigger triangle subtract the sector so we need to subtract the area of the sector from the entire triangle so let's try to do this so question number C so area of triangle this is o obc is half ab sin theta the area of a triangle half a is this b is this and sin theta is 0.7 remember this is in radian mode this is extremely important this is very very common to mis make mistakes with this so what we can do here is half is 0.5 into 8 into 11 into sine point 7 so the area is 28.3456 28.3456 that's the area now area of the sector area of sector so the area of the sector is r squared theta by 2 so r squared is radius is 8 squared theta is 0 0.7 by 2 and that would be so 8 square into theta is 0 0.7 divided by 2 that is 22.4 exactly 22.4 exactly so therefore area equals to the bigger area 28.3456 minus the smaller area 22.4 so the answer is 28.3456 minus 22.4 four and we get five point nine four five six five point nine four five six therefore area equals to five point nine five centimeters squared and I think that was the question find the area up to three significant figure that that was the question centimeter squared